YouTube, what's the word? I'm back. This is actually a Mutt Head game. Mutt Head, the Mutt Head League Season 7. It's probably, probably the best season they've had so far. Full of big names. And actually, I'm playing the Arizona Club Series champion that we watched earlier on my podcast. And we also watched him win that event, which is T. Davis. Been around the man community a long time. Been a competitive player for a long time. So it's definitely a good player to play, a good player to watch. And if you haven't checked out that podcast where I go over him winning the um, Arizona Club Series, check it out on my YouTube videos, man. My podcast is every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern. It's aired live on my Twitch channel. That link is below. You can also click that. And, you know, check out the podcast. All the previous podcasts so far are on my YouTube channel. Make sure you uh, check those out and get into it, man. It's really picking up some steam. You guys are really uh, approving of that and... I appreciate it, you know, in this game I started this in my head, I have Night Train Lane, I have Michael Vick, I have full Pat Pete, definitely some goons in the secondary, I know he's going to run a little bunch, a little West Coast, and I got to be able to stop some uh, stop some passing plays, and that's what I'm prepared to do, but I also believe he has Fournette at running back, so we got to make some plays on that, so that's why I pretty much have Night Train, I think I want to play him at the safety position, if we go starting the scum kick, got to be prepared for that, get a better catch from Todd Gurley there. And first drive, I'm going to dump it off to Coleman. Let's just fill it out. It's a little 3-3-5 odd. I, I feel pretty comfortable now against 3-3-5 odd. I mean, just pretty much pick a sideline and play against the sideline. is It's really uh, my main method of, of playing against 3-3-5 odd. But even though, even though I feel comfortable against it, every once in a while you'll get screamed at. You know, the D-tackle will come free or you'll get hit off the edge right there in the middle. And I get a third and 17. What I'm going to do is just dump it off here to Gurley. Good, good tackle by him, man. I thought eh, he did a good job tackling me. Get to a fourth and eight. I think I could dump it off and fight with Gurley, but he gets wrapped up. And I turn the ball over on downs. My first drive, he comes out with Fournette. Fournette breaks through uh, Night Train Lane there, but um, Adrian Amos cleans it up. So we got to stop the run early. We send a lot of pressure that time. We get a sack by my man Adams. I don't know who he is. He's a 10 cat, but a sack from him is big. Huge play there on third and 16. Thrown under Patrick P- Peterson's face. Here we go with Fournette spinning off a uh, night train lane right there. Got to slow him down, man. I turned the ball over first early. Get no pressure there, but uh, Tavares more able to drag down Michael Vick on a quick little scramble. That's why you have Vick. Throws it underneath. A lot of little baby dots, man. He did a great job this whole game just taking underneath passes, take little short ins and outs. That's a big sack right there from uh, Vic Beasley Jr. to 25, cap to gold. Get him to a third down. I, I only rushed three. Send the spy. Playmakers. And we click on Jalen Ramsey here. Jump in front of the pass. That's 45 cap Jalen Ramsey with the pick. I'm on the one yard line to start, which sucks. But go ahead and just take that little flat. Sneak in a little flat pass there. Get me eight yards. I'm five for five right now. Feeling good on offense. Underneath the girly. Truck over Milton. Truck sideways. Dubby's the only person to truck sideways, not up. Once again, we hit Gurley again. Good job of tackling by him. He did a great job every time. I mean, I was in the flat. He was able to click on and made the tackle more often than not. Here we get great pass protection right there from my offensive line. Able to hit the playmaker underneath the Randy Moss. Eight for eight, I believe, right now. A lot of little things. There you go once over, once again, right over the middle of the field. Tyreek Hill make a couple plays. Nine for nine. We're feeling good. Mixing a little inside zone. Just keep them honest. Also, keep your wide receivers fresh, man. You got them running down the field all the time. They're going to fatigue. So, every once in a while, you got to mix in a run so you can hit a little baby dot over here once again a great tackle by him i mean i'm i'm really completing passes and speaking of completing passes we're going to run one in for a touchdown that's tevin coleman that's inside zone man obviously you want to keep some energy to your wide receivers but anytime you can bust the run that's also great so go up seven nothing got to play a little bit better defense than i did last time i feel like i didn't stop him he just made a mistake he forced the pass and jalen ramsey made him pay here goes uh, that's Shockey, a tight end, and Apke oils and wraps him up. Nice spin move there by Leonard Fournette, who fights and somehow gets, I think, 11 yards on that run right there. Looked like I played decent run defense there. Those underneath there. A lot of people would have waited for the big play, but he took the little in route, wound up gaining him almost 20 yards on that little in route. Get to a first down here. He has moved the comeback route. A lot of people are running the comeback routes now. Come back in, in a drag. Like I got showed you on an earlier YouTube video, guys. You can check it out below. And here we see his tight end, Jalen Ramsey. I actually was on tackling aggressive right there. And that was a big reason why he, I missed that tackling. He went into the end zone, man. So from the 20-yard line, the little whip route to the tight end, get a touchdown is, is bad defense. 
throw a laser over the middle to Randy Moss, and that's officially makes me, I believe, 11 for 11 right now. Feeling great on offense. I want to loft this one over top of his purple zone or his linebacker. His bad linebacker, number 52, I believe, is Najee Good. Another dot. Tiger, to get out of bounds. Oh, he tackles me there. Got to use a timeout. Wish I would have got out of bounds there. Next play, I got 20, one timeout. I got to make sure I get some points here. Tyree Kill underneath. Huge broken tackle there to get out of bounds and save a timeout. That's a huge situation right there, being able to save my timeout because I can still run. Throw the dot over there. Came back and got it. He was in the end zone, but then caught it on the one. We're going to go for this. I got a quick play. I got to get rid of the ball fast. I snap and throw the inside slant over there. To, uh, Calvin Ridley holds on to the ball. Touchdown, 14-7 to going in the half. That's how I feel at halftime. I'm kicking him the ball off. I feel good having a point, having seven point lead is always great. But we'll kick off here. Got to keep playing defense, man. If I get one more stop, I feel like I can go down and get three and make it a two possession game. Just don't give up any more big plays, especially not uh, broken tackles. I might honestly switch back to conservative tackling. That way he doesn't get any more of those plays where he throws a whip route and gets a huge play on it. Here was a little play action underneath throws at the uh, Jeremy Shockey. We bring him down, just swarm around the ball. My boys are fast enough to go ahead and make tackles, and we see Khalil Mack just playing the tackle for me, really getting off the blocks, really making a play. He gets a bad animation there, gets him to third and long. Once again, throws underneath. We had a strip haul, oh, but the ball does not come out. Apke cannot strip Tim Brown right there. Little uh, draw, and Jabal Sheard blows it up right there for me. Next down underneath, and Apke just pulls him forward for another four yards on the play. Gets him to a third and seven. Throws over the top. Oh, Night Train, I need you to make that play for me, kid. First down to Moss. Throws underneath here to Leonard Fournette. Just trucking and spinning, trucking and spinning, trucking and spinning. I mean, he's 12 for 13 as well. He's doing very well. Although he does have a one interception was the difference in the game. And speaking of interceptions, Jalen Ramsey jumps that corner route, man. Just the height, the jump, everything about Jalen Ramsey. He's been the second best DB in the game to me behind Patrick Peterson. Here we go. Almost lurked me right there, but Apke's just too slow to keep up with Calvin Ridley. That's a great Calvin Ridley card. I believe he's 32 cap, 36 cap, something like that. But he's fast enough to make plays and go to come back route 18 for 18 right now. Feeling really good. He blows up my draw. I just want to get in field goal range. If I get in field goal range, two possessions is guaranteed. Playing a great pocket right here. and we're able to hit Tyree Kill on the slant. Once again, he does a good job tackling me, holding me to 13-yard line. And we'll hit in. Run twice here and take it to the fourth quarters. Then the fourth quarter starts. We get sacked the first play. He brings the crib on the 10-yard line. Did not expect that. Third and 15. We're going to drop back here. I'm cool taking my field goal, but I'm going to hit this curl over here. And Tyreek Hill is going to fight through Dion in 23. I believe is Lattimore. Tyreek Hill pulls him forward. We go up 21-7. to That's huge because that, that means he needs two whole touchdowns to tie this game. I feel like I'm playing all right on defense. Just keep making them work and keep making them some time off the clock. There's four minutes left. Hopefully, I get the ball back under two-minute warning. In the first play, he runs a draw, which I'm perfectly happy with because that's going to be 20 seconds off the clock. You see 4.15. He snaps the next one in four minutes. Throw underneath that's cool. Night train going to rip the ball out, and somehow we don't recover that. But it's okay. We're going to go ahead, and that's another 15 seconds off the clock. Cover the drag that time. Goes over the top, and night train lane goes and takes that one. I think... Jeremy Shockey being slow there, didn't run the deep blue off, and Night Train like clicked on and just made us just warp to the ball. And that's what I mean. That's why I put that 55 cap free safety out there. Who that's my first incompletion. Went for the high ball, had Moss wide open, but that was definitely my first incompletion. Then he goes ahead and just mans up everybody and makes a mistake. When you're down 14, it's impossible to play defense. You have to make high risk plays, and that time he just called the wrong coverage. I was able to get a touchdown, man. That makes it, the game's pretty much over now. I'm up. 21 points, that's huge. Obviously, man, anytime you have three possessions, let alone with three minutes left, that's pretty much stick a fork in them. Once again, now we get to the point where we're getting A-gaps with Khalil Mack. I mean, it's going to be a long night for you. But now you get to the point where you just want to make them use some time, make them use some time. Hits this corner route over here to uh, Randy Moss. Patrick Peterson could not get there in time. Those are a little playmaker. We actually get a sack. Tavares Moore gets the loop. So it's looking really dark for him here. He runs a little bunch, a little in route, hits the post back, and boom! Troy Apke, the best user in the game, the most underrated cat player, makes the pick. And that's pretty much going to end the game, man. I'm up 21 points. want to run here and just go down here and get my field goal just so I can make it the max point differential, and Mudhead is 24 points. 
So that's pretty much what I wanted to go for now. Obviously, if this was not a point differential situation, we just run the clock out and wouldn't take any points. But in playoffs and everything seeding like that, point differential matters a lot. I mean, it's not something where you run the score up or try to disrespect an opponent, but you want to get that max point difference to try to sneak in the playoffs. Not that many teams making this way to go. I believe when I made this video right now, I am. I think I'm 1-3 right now, so we're not looking very good, but it was big to get this win against a great opponent, uh, the Arizona Club Series champion. We were able to get this game. He made a couple mistakes. I didn't feel like I played great defense. I just felt like he made mistakes. That was the difference in the game, and, and I played great offensively. I feel like I played like that. I should be able to win most of the games here on out of Mudhead League. So please check out my Twitch channel if you want to check out some of these games that I play live against the best players in the world.